Hello, everyone. This is your coach, Gita Dubey, and today we'll be talking about uh, life secrets uh, and how we can imply those ones into our life, which would make us feel not only feel better, but also would give good results. And I have doing it in such a simplistic way so that you understand it. What are the really important things which we could do in our lives, uh, which would help not only us and also people around us. All right, so let's get started. So what are the three important life, life secrets you need to know? So these are the ones which are I have not only um, used it myself and I'm a big advocate of spreading these messages because these are very important ones. See, when you're doing a business and uh, when either you are just a homemaker or you are just in job, all of these require certain foundational rules, how you operate from, correct? And um, they really are helpful. You know, they're simple. They are not too much uh, complicated, but we make them complicated, right? So that's one of the biggest things we do. We like to make things a little complicated and uh, they, uh, you know, kind of show in our lives as well once we feel stressed out or when we feel uh, out of alignment so this is what we do correct so i have taken out the best ones uh, which are not only helpful to me and the people around me but they could be super helpful to you all and let's see what those are number one so find out somebody you love now love does not literally mean the love we talk about these days something someone you love, you want to nurture the relationship, you know, um, it could be anybody, it could be somebody from your family, or it could be somebody from your friends or somebody who's just an acquaintance. Because I say that because sometimes we get so confused that we feel that we need to prioritize um, just looking at the family members. And that's not that important. It could be somebody who are just miles away from you, you know, like they could be, let's say you are in one country and they could be in another country, but that's the relationship you have. You cherish that relationship and that helps you to not only um, nurture it more for them, but for yourselves as well. So just, just find someone, you know, like, because we are humans, we have to find something um, like us. Number two, something to do with love. So this is also very important. When I meet so many of my clients and they have issues that they have not been able to specifically uh, really find out or they are not been able to really tap into themselves well when they are not able to see what is really so important for them and what they really love doing. So let me share a story with you over here. So I had a client who was, uh, I think, around 70 years old. And uh, she had been not doing well with her life in terms of business or life. So she had been struggling a lot. And she said, what am I doing and why it's not working for me? So. When I started working with her after, I think almost, it took me a year or probably more than a year to work with her and to find out, to tap into what she really loved doing. And that was affecting her life overall. Like in her business, she was not able to uh, produce results or in her life, her relationships was, was a mess. Um, and Overall, she was feeling like, what is she doing here? Literally. Then we, I started working with her and I think uh, we had a breakthrough after one year when she realized that the one thing she loved doing was 
literally was writing. And we were surprised because we were talking about her business and we were talking about all the other things. But she um, started writing again. And you have to believe me on this. Her life turned around which was amazing because she was saying that I'm not able to find time for it. I don't know how to do it. And I'm so busy with my family, my business, my life that I don't have uh, enough time to even take care of what I really, really do or what I really, really need to do for myself. Anyways, long story short. Um, so she found something which she was very compassionate about. So that's what I'm talking here. Uh, something you nearly need to do it on the regular basis. And sometimes you would find you're doing such activities even when you're stressed out more. So pay attention when you're stressed out. What is the first thing you open up in your laptop? What is the first thing you like to do? Is it just going outside? Just doing exercise? Just, just pay a little bit of attention. You would get your answers there. The number three, some form of service to others. Yeah, this is going to be very important because you have to serve in the form of adding values to and the other people's life, right? You have to have some kind of something you can look forward to, to doing something on the daily basis or something you're adding. Because as a human being, we feel good about ourselves when you are literally helping other people. I mean, I, I can't emphasize on this enough because this is the basis of everything, right? Right now, when I'm doing this video for you all, I'm trying to help someone or somebody, you know, who watches this video, get some value out of it. So it is as simple as that. You don't have to do bigger things, but you can just do some small things um, so that it can help you out and move forward. So these are the life secrets we are talking about, right? So let's move on to another one. So we'll take it one by one. So something when we say some, some to love and nurture, to, so that literally means that you have to find something in the form of uh, a relationship, if that's fine if you have one, or uh, someone you can talk to, someone is there very who you take care of, who you nurture. So it's not that it just has to be you. Uh, loving should be like, uh, so just on the other side of it, but it has to be nurturing. It has, it has to flourish. It has to blossom, correct? And that happens when you are open to yourself and you're open to other people around you, correct? So you can start with your family. If you have a hard time going out and talking to strangers, absolutely don't worry about it. Start with your family. Find somebody, uh, an immediate family or an extended family that was anybody you know, that you pay little extra effort to nurture their relationships. You know, sometimes we have our cousins, they are so good, uh, you know, you remember them and then the bond you share with them. So someone really, really, uh, you need to, you know, at level of relationships, you have to uh, really build upon this. Friends, you can definitely do friends. Uh, they're easier to do it because um, friends are like, you know, they are non-judgmental. That's fine. We all understand that. But you can always start with a friend. And the third one is, which I was talking to you about, and the story I just shared in the last slide about the woman, passion. So either you can find a passion, something you are just, just passionate about. Now, how do you know you're passionate about something? When you talk about it, when you try to... Uh, uh, kind of spread its awareness, everything you do around it, it lights you up. You know, you have that light in your eyes and it lights everybody around you because you're so passionate. You just forget about the time. You don't look at the time and just keep doing it what it is, right? So these are the three ways you can just right away start with. Next one, something to do with love. So a lot of people ask me, what do you really, really mean by this? And this is not an easy task. Um, it's a very difficult task to find out what you really love doing and whatever you do is with love. So either way, it's, it's not an easy place to be in. So find out something you really like. Um, I mean, not that you are 
you're you're basically putting efforts into it you know and you you are basically if you're putting too much of a, a peer pressure into it that i don't think that's the thing you like i'm looking for something which you do it very naturally like um which really makes you feel happy right so you need to find something that out so you can make a list of it i usually give it to so many of my clients i ask them if they want uh, to write down what are the top three things they are doing it on the regular basis and do it for at least 21 days to 31 30 days so that you um exactly get that idea correct and then you can always see which are the things you can see on those lists which are repetitive and which you are doing on unknowingly or knowingly on consistent basis so that's how you find out so i think just for the starters you can always uh do it for 21 days and that would really help you so every day just make a list top three things you don't have to go in detail so let's see uh today i like watching this show on the video uh number two i like eating this stuff or I like reading this book, or I like reading going, um, reading or going to the dancing class, anything, anything. So just, just make sure you're just writing it on a daily basis. So you, that's what you have to be consistent with. And definitely after 21 days, I can assure you, you'll get something out of that list, right? And still it's need to be worked upon. So it doesn't end there. So again, the second thing I just mentioned, like, uh, make a list of things that you would like to do on a weekly basis. That's what I was explaining you all about. The thing you love, does it have any benefit to anyone? So the next stage of that, once you have done your 21 days of exercise, you could always reevaluate what you have done um, in the form of that. If this is what I'm doing, if this is what I really, really love doing, is it going to benefit anybody in some way down there now there's an expansion of minds there's a more neural pathways uh, developing right so now you are going uh, one step further right so what you like doing and now you need to nurture it more in in some sh shape or form so that other people can also benefit from it and find out um your why for doing this and definitely you should know why do you like it and that's going to be a tough question to to deal with because why you do certain things even you don't know sometimes you do certain things intentionally sometimes you do things unintentionally right so you need to find out why you like this for instance yeah, let's say if I'm reading, I like reading this book or I like reading, let's say, even more specific and inspirational books. So what is that reading those inspirational books help me with? So you can really go deep into that and find out your why. So for instance, number one, uh, not all inspirational books are the same right? We all know that. So that could be, you know, like there are some certain specific uh, differentiative factor there, which you write, which you like certain type of inspirational books. So that that is, again, going deeper and deeper, you can definitely tap into your why, why you like specific books, why you like specific authors, why you keep going back to a certain author. So these are the all, all the questions which you will be dealing with as you go into your whys. And the last one is like always devote extra time and on being consistent. So once you have done this particular exercises, you know, so you have to develop uh, something which I call a neural pathway where you are on the consistent basis uh, putting efforts into it and doing it on the regular basis, right? Let's say you do like doing something on once a week, correct? But I want you to continue that once a week for a few months. Or let's say you like doing something twice a week. So same thing. So at least you should give it good odd. I think 90 days account scientifically it has been proven. If you just keep doing it for a while, it, it will you will see the differences happening in you and also not only in you, but in particularly 
people around you. So you have to do keep doing it for a while. You just, when you start with the journey, just, just do it for some time and then you see how it is shaping up for you or how you are evolving around it. So both are equally powerful uh, places to be in. So let's move on to the next one, which is some form of service to others. Again, I really don't want you to feel that um, even if you're doing a job, uh, that is a service to your company, right? If you're doing a business, that is a service to yourself. What you want to do, what you have mission, what you uh, have an idea, you're working upon then. The other thing which I also like you to do along with these things is community services, which are very, very important. We overlook them um, sometimes, but you can do so many things online. If you don't want to do it in person, you can go and do it online. You you can do charities, you can do uh, donations, you can do um, any of things which are closer to you and what you feel that it, it has a calling for you to work or go and do it or work just act upon so uh, i had a client um to tell you another story uh she was so her idea of just doing charity was doing at the very large scale right she wanted to do something um for girls in her country you know she really wanted to do something at very large scale and because of that vision, which was very, very uh, lightly, you know, needs a lot of structure to it to get started. She was not doing it at the at the level where she could just start with it. So she was feeling very stuck with it that I'm not able to do that part of it, and uh, I don't want to do small little steps so that I can get there. So she was absolutely, I would say, worried about it, that whether she'll be even able to do it or not. So this is the place where I really want you to think hard because people have big visions, which is absolutely great, but you need to start somewhere with a small, let's say you don't need to spend um, if I can give an example, straight $100. If even if you can spend $1, you, it's good to start with. And people get so entangled up in the thoughts like, okay, I just need to do that one big thing. No, you can do when you get there. But before that, you can start with the small things, right? So please, whenever some you have something in your mind, an idea or just a hunch or a nudge uh, that I need to do something, even just to go out and help somebody in some way, please do so. I mean, don't don't put too much of um, logistic thinking around it, um, if I can say that. So please, uh, that's what I say, because this person I'm talking about, client of mine, and I could see that she's struggling even to tell me her big version, but she is so... I would say stuck or she was so um, stubborn to not do even the small things, which were just close to her home and community where she was living. So this is the place I really want you to start. So you are doing your jobs, excellent work. You are doing your businesses, again, excellent work. Please do also find time to do something for community services if you can. Once in a while, it is very helpful. And the lastly, but most importantly, in these days you can do so many charities, so many donations, because that's part of being us as a human being, more compassionate. So please start doing something so that you don't get stuck, or stuck up and feel um, that you are not adding any value to any of those things, all right? So you have to do the combination of those things, not just one or try to do a little bit of all or just at least two of them. All right. So with that, I hope you found out or you probably realized while watching this some valuable tip or a, a life secret, which you, just, you can just start off. So and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, I'll be back again with some more videos, which could help you or somebody in some way or 
the other. So hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you all soon. Thank you.